Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into a LEGO City 2022 set review. Today we are looking at set number 60314. This is the Ice Cream Truck Police Chase that has 317 pieces, 3 minifigures, and is retailing for $39.99 USD or $49.99 Canadian. And I am a sucker for whenever they do something cool and unique for a police set or just like a fire set in general, and this falls into that category. Having these fun and unique villains, not just like a cowboy or, you know, having them be these little ice cream cone robbers is just so fun. Like, if they continue to do things like that, I, I'll definitely pick them all up. I don't care if it's a huge $100 mobile police chase. Like, this set is really cool in its theme and concept. Price, though, I think it's a bit too much, but we'll get into all that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's take a closer look at this set. We gotta start with the ice cream truck build, right? And that that's one of my favorite things about this that lured me in was just the fact that they've kind of taken this ice cream truck and repurposed it as their own. They've they've even branded a little bit on the top there. You could see that sticker. They've added a bandit mask there. Um, but yeah, the font is really basic. Someone said it's like a generic font. I forget what it was, if it was uh, Calibri or whatever it was, but it's, it's super basic, which is fine. I just think that it should have been more, maybe a little bit more exciting, I think, for an ice cream truck but they serve real ice cream in case you were curious it's it's not like frozen yogurt or anything or you know lactose intolerant maybe they have that as a variety but it's real ice cream is there fake ice cream vegan ice cream stuff like that it's, you know anyway <laughs> I'm getting off topic here um, but you've also got a sticker here on the side with a little menu and uh, they've got order number three and two but I don't know what happened to one. Um, maybe this is one on top, um, but spinning it around here, it's the exact same sticker on this side and the same sticker there. But I love the blue wheels. I think that's really cool. I love how it goes with the whole color scheme of this whole car. I think that's awesome. The turret here on the top, yes, I said turret. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. Uh, this ice cream build, it's pretty cool. I think that they maybe could have put something else here. Maybe just like one more ring of tan or something. But uh, of course there needs to be a gap for you to be able to do this. Now, this is a brand new piece introduced this, uh, this year for 2022 in City. And it is actually this new little dish piece. And you might have seen it before. And it's, it's this here. So we've got a green version as well as a pink version there. Pay attention to the colors here. So you got pink, green, and blue, okay? And we'll look at that with the robbers in a second. We'll talk why I said that specifically and the whole color of the trim of the car. Anyways, um, so here at the top, you can load that into a regular disc launcher that was, that's been around for a few years. So what you do here is you just push in the back and it will launch the discs right on out. So you could easily, if, if you want, I'll show you how to just load it. You take it because if you look at this, it's, it's the two by two flat tile so you take it load it on inside and then you can push the back again and shoot now unfortunately my complaint with this is that it doesn't have a way to angle it so you can't really angle it down or up or different things like can't shoot at a helicopter can't shoot it down at the car like it just goes out it will of course over time go down but uh yeah it spins around really easily that's really good and uh, I, I think that like they captured the ice cream cone shape at the top really well now on the side here you might have noticed there's actually these little handles and what that is for you to do is to take one of the robbers and have them just hanging around on the outside as they're being pursued by the cops now on the front you do have a sticker for the license plate which is the exact same one here on the back now you're probably wondering why is there a little chain the chain is for the atm build which is right here so what you do is you grab the hook and you attach it right there onto the front part there of the ATM and holding it down, you drive away and it yanks out the ATM machine, which we'll take a closer look at in a bit, but I need to show you the play feature. There is actually one other play feature and that's over here on this side. And if I remove him, you can see that right here, this actually opens on up. The rest of the top does not come off here. The front does, but this part doesn't. This is all built in. You can see there's two little ice creams there for you to remove from that stand, as well as you could have a spot for, whoops, for one of the minifigures 
to actually be inside and operating the machine there which is just this two by which is just this little computer screen nothing special on the inside there but uh, I guess you can also put there if you want there is this crate and with that crate store some of the tools like the crowbar as well as there is a chainsaw there as well as there's this like buzz saw there so you could put that all inside the crate over here in the front you just lift up this dish piece there and you can take your other robber and put them on inside there doesn't matter if they have the ice cream cone suit on or not they will still fit inside and of course these doors there open up on both sides here is the police car very simple but what is interesting is if you haven't seen this is the new electric yellow color and it's being used here not sure if I'm a fan of it being used for the police. I don't really think that it works. I, I'm not sure. I, I don't really, I'm not, I'm not a fan of it here, especially when you've got yellow pieces on the inside. So yeah, would have preferred maybe for this all to just be blue or for that to be a white trim. But regardless, I actually really like the shape of this car. I love the front part here, the hood and the grill. I think that looks really cool. And you've got a sticker there on the front with a badge. This is actually a printed piece that's not a sticker there on that side, as well as over here, which I guess that can be used for helicopters and just a ton of other vehicles. It does drive very smoothly, really nice. And on the back, no license plate or anything, but there is a play feature here where you just actually lift this up. And what you do is you drop those spikes and it's meant to actually, of course, pop the tires of the ice cream truck. So I think that's pretty cool. The use of the shurikens there, the ninja stars with the little horn spikes. I think that's a cool little thing. I love that. Over here in the front, pops right off for you to be able to take your police officer and put her on inside there, close it on up, and she is ready to drive. On the inside, there's just a steering wheel there, which is just a yellow one, as well as in the back, there's a little slope piece there so again not sure why it's not an electric yellow and you could see some red there not a fan of that the interior it, it it needs to be a little cleaned up i think here's the atm it's in the same color scheme there as the big bank that's also included in this wave of city set so i think that's pretty cool and yeah it's just very simple it has a sticker on the top there which is pretty neat and again it's just on that jumper for you to be able to remove the atm you've got uh, like a cash register there uh, but it's also I, I think it's more of an atm print there i would say but i'm sure this has been used for like a cash register as well on the inside you've got two 100 dollar bills there which is typical for lego city sets and lego sets in general according to the box this character is actually named crook ice and i love this ice cream cone piece it's really really cool i i think that just the molding of it all and the the, the texture there on the cone part is absolutely incredible love the color scheme how it relates to the ice cream truck as well but removing this there you could see she's got an adorable little smirk and i like the mask there and on the back she's got like this sort of concerned expression the torso printing as well is really great. I kind of wish that it was just sort of generic, that it wasn't like specifically a female torso, so it could be used for other things. But I love like the robber outfit there and how it's tied in with the bow tie, like a, you know, one of the fancier sort of ice cream scooper servers. I love that. Also included with her is actually this hair piece. So you could swap that out if you don't want to have her with the cone on, which means that this guy's name is Crook cream <laughs> and uh, it's just cute you know together they make ice cream but they're missing a partner the reason i say that is because in the beach set there's actually a green version of this and inside of the police station is someone dressed very similarly here to my good friend if i take that off very similar outfit but look at the color here We've got a green ice cream dish that shoots out of the turret, as well as the green in the ice cream truck. It's not a coincidence. Just, just throwing that out there. But love this guy's torso because <laughs> he's got like a, you know, a goon chain there around his neck. I think that's pretty funny. The leg printing's really great, as well as the face. No second face print, unfortunately, but he's got some back printing there. Also included for this guy, and the reason he doesn't have a second face print is because he actually has a cap instead of a hairpiece. Would have loved for him to have like a wacky Lego City hairpiece colored in hot pink. Would have been great just to have dyed hair but it's okay 
And then here we have a police officer, the badge there. It's it's cool with that little uh, reflection that they've got using medium nougat. The ponytail, it's fine. And the face and all that, the torso printing overall, I think that it's it's pretty good. I, I'm not sure if this is new or not. I don't really keep up with City too much enough to be able to tell. But I do like the torso printing and the face printing there on the back as well. The more confident smile. It does come with a pair of handcuffs. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review of the Ice Cream Truck Police Chase. I think this is a great set. I love the theme and the idea of it. I love how there is the other crook and the other set that you can make by getting other sets. The color scheme of the truck, I don't know if it's necessarily the best ice cream truck, but it's still really great. I think the best one still is the Lego Movie one, but this, this is probably the second best. I really love it, and I want to hear your thoughts on this. Overall, I think it's a great city set, but I think it's either 10 or $5 too much. I think if they knocked off $5, I think it would be, it would go a long way, I think, and it would bring in a lot more people. I think that the price for this is a little steep for what you're getting. I feel like I am missing something from this. I don't know what it is, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this set. What do you think of it? Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you will have a great day. I'll see you all in the next one.